welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the Relove by Revolution Super Serum Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. I mean, you get your standard one ounce bottle of foundation. I love the packaging of this, first of all. I did get to shade 10.5. I heard that these run a little bit lighter than you would think. Before we apply this, though, I'm going to go ahead and put on this Relove by Revolution H2O Hydrate Primer. So potentially you can get the foundation and the primer for around 10 bucks, which is really good. So it has a pump. You just pump it. I'm just gonna apply that. It has, feels really cool. So, I mean, it feels really good actually. I don't know how it's gonna do with the foundation i don't know i just don't want it to be too oily with this so but we'll see how how it performs there was other options too like a lot of other options and i went with this one okay and now we're gonna go in with the serum I'm just gonna apply so it is liquidy for sure go ahead and apply that So I did not grab a concealer, so I'm going to just use what I have here. I have my Photo Focus Wet n Wild concealer. I'll apply that. So yeah, I mean, it has a nice coverage. It's sheer, but I feel like it's definitely, like, it feels really lightweight on the face. But yeah, I, I really like the feel of this one, though. You know, and I think that the color, the color, the tone that I got, 10.5, definitely works. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. So now I'm going to bronze. So I have here the We Love by Revolution Super Bronzer. So, and I love the packaging. It says bronzer on it. I think that's super cute. <laughs> I'm going to... Take my bronzing brush. Yeah, it's subtle, but it's pretty. For setting the face, I have this Relove by Revolution Super Matte Powder, and this is in the tone translucent use that to set the rest of the face here so i feel like this powder definitely did mattify my face it claims to be super matte so i i do see that <laughs> i like it though because it's not like dry feeling you know how when you're super mad you just feel really dry i don't have that feeling at all right now everything just feels really lightweight so i have the dual blush and highlighter by relove revolution here and i don't know if this pink is gonna show up on my skin i'm gonna we're gonna see here you guys can see like it does like it have its color you can definitely see the pink. So I'm gonna put that on my e.l.f. blush brush and apply. Oh man, that's a little too much. <laughs> Let me blend this out. Okay, so I grabbed some more of that translucent powder and I just kind of blended it out more to tone down the pink here. Oh man. I don't know if you can see, it's been cracked already. Darn it. So I also picked up the Relove Revolution Super Highlight Highlighter. And this is in the shade Champagne. 
I thought this was really pretty. I know this already has a highlighter, but I saw this and I said, oh my goodness, that's so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this. If you guys can see that. It's kind of hard to see. It looks more glittery in person though than on the camera. So the camera don't do it justice. Let's see how it looks. Definitely subtler, but I really like that actually. I like that a lot. Okay, so we'll see how the foundation holds up throughout the day, but so far so good, you guys. Hmm. I'm debating if I should do eyeliner today or no eyeliner. I didn't buy an eyeliner, so maybe I won't do eyeliner. So since I didn't buy eyeliner, I'm not gonna use eyeliner. Um, So I didn't grab an eyeshadow palette, but I grabbed this. This is the Relove by Revolution Eye Light Metallic Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Queen. So we're gonna wear this, and then I'm gonna use probably the bronzer that I have here as my transition color. So we'll see how that looks. I mean, the bronzer is looking pretty as a transition color, to be honest. And I'm just going to take my e.l.f. blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out. Here you guys. So... I mean, the bronzer, it works. What I'm really excited for is this metallic eyeshadow here that I have. Let me show you. Let me go ahead and apply this. Oh, pretty. Oh, guys, so I really like this eyeshadow. Blending it out. Honestly, it looks a lot more pigmented in person. The camera is not doing it justice, unfortunately, but it's really pretty, you guys. So, it dries pretty quickly, though. That's for sure. So, you kind of have to work quick when you're applying. But, yeah, I really like this a lot. So I decided I'm not going to wear eyeliner today, you know, especially because I'm wearing this eyeshadow. Next I have this Relove Revolution Power Lash Volume Mascara. So they had different ones. I saw they had waterproof one, they had a, a lengthening and then volumizing. They even had like colored mascaras, which honestly it just gave me nostalgia when I saw them because I saw the blue and like the crazy colors that, you know, I used to wear as a kid. You know, I don't know if you 90s kids ever wore a blue mascara, but I thought I was the coolest kid ever because I had my blue mascara. Smell well, awful, of course, but I don't mind as long as it does well. So let's see how this does. I'm looking for my eyelash curler, wherever it went. My eyelash curler. Okay, let me just curl my eyelashes real quick and then apply. Now we're going to apply. This is one quote. Hey 
guys, so there's the mascara. Honestly, like, it's not terrible. I definitely would have preferred a different mascara, but it just took a minute to build. Like, I was just sitting there applying it, and I just, it took longer than I would have liked. And then I'm just going to take, I'm going to use this highlighter here for my inner corner. Hmm, not really showing up much. Let me swatch that. Okay. Well, it's right here. I mean, it's more extreme when you like swap it on your swatch it on your finger. For eyebrows, I just grabbed the Power Brow by We Love. Revolution here, just a brow pencil. Oh, this is the pencil. And then it has a spoolie on the other side. That's really nice. And this is in the shade dark brown, just so you guys know. So I think it did a pretty good job at filling in the eyebrow. I just cleaned it up with some concealer and I just applied my Wet n Wild brow gel, clear brow gel that I had. The last thing I have here, I'm excited for this. Well, I guess two things is I have the Relove Revolution Super Fill Lip Liner. So this was the cheapest item that I got. And then I also have this baby tint, lip and cheek tint. So. I didn't put it on my cheeks. Um, my plan was to use it on my lips. So, so that is the lip liner. Very light and subtle. Lie the lip liner now. For lips, we're just going to use the Relove Revolution Baby Tint, Lip and Cheek Tint, and this is in the shade Rose, so we'll see how that looks. Wonder how, I don't know, maybe next time I'll apply some on my cheek and see how it looks. So the lip tint, I mean, it's a lip tint, it's really um, subtle, but it feels nice, it's nice and moisturizing. I'm glad I didn't put it on my face because I don't know if it would have showed up, honestly. Okay, so I'm just going to spray some setting spray. So that was all the makeup, you guys. Thank you all so much so much for watching. So, so far, the makeup is holding up good, but we'll see how it holds up in a few hours. I will make sure and leave a clip in for you guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. Let me know if there's any new video suggestions you have or if you want me to compare this to another serum. With that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Hi guys, so it's been a couple hours, I think two hours since I did my makeup. I'm sitting here in natural sunlight for you guys to see. So. Honestly, the foundation wasn't very full coverage to begin with. It was very, like, like I would say medium coverage. Very light coverage. But nothing too crazy yet. Um, yeah, like, I will check back in with you guys in a couple hours.